Hello guys and welcome back to another video with me Slivers FX and today it's time for some vampires. Yes, that's right. Last month there was a plugin that was released for New Balance. It's called the Path of the Damned. And today I'm gonna show you how to install it and where to go to actually join a new guild with the vampires. All right, let's go. So first off, open the Google Drive that I have provided in the link. You will need the latest uh, update from the Gothic 2 New Balance. I have just updated it today, which is for the October. You need to download this one or just go on to rpgrussia.com and update your uh, scripts. The second file you're going to need is the AB Path of the Dam mod, which I have already downloaded. And we're going to extract this thing. So we're going to open this file and we're going to just literally just drag it into the data folder of our game. I have already done so. But nonetheless, I'm just showing you how to do it. So in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Gothic 2, Data, you have to paste it and the thing should just automatically work. All right, now let's get into the game and see where to go. All right, we're now in the game. And before we get started, I have to tell you a couple of things before you do start on this venture. So the plugin that we just installed gives us a new guild called The Damned. And within this guild, you have the option to start on three different paths. A warrior with strength or dexterity, only melee. I don't think uh, they have any um, longbow or crossbow effects. So just melee stuff you have a fist fighter which is an interesting concept because it comes also with new animations and you have a blood mage and you get a new type of magic called flow there's also a new location that re is revealed and that is called the rocky cliff and it kind of resembles one of those uh castles that you would see in a movie or something you know about vampires the damned cannot join any secondary guilds. That includes uh, shaman, druid, oil poisoning. And uh, from the very beginning, when you start the initiation, both enhancements and weaknesses will be in effect. Wolves of Galahad's magic are unfortunately not available. Guardian magic is not available. Light magic is not available. And that's about it, I think. Oh yeah, one more thing. So before you do get started, as soon as you talk to the guy that initiates you into the guild, uh, you are basically unable to choose any other guild. So if you want to do all the initiation quests for other guilds, such as mercenaries, paladins, uh, fire mages, do that way beforehand. For my example here, I am already level 28, I believe, in this uh, playthrough. And I will just show you where to go to... Uh, to join the, the damned. So we're here at the Death Harpy Tavern. And there's a guy waiting for us inside. His name is Ramos. And as soon as you talk to him, you're basically already joined the guild. He tells you about uh, inviting you to get some a couple of drinks. <clears throat> and you wake up in the next morning basically in a cave that's just right next off to the uh, Dead Harpy Tavern. I'm not sure if you guys recognize this place. <clears throat> and you get a light citizen clothing, a cloth cape, and a stranger's note. Now the thing is, as soon as you read this note, it says, Stranger, this note is for you. You're probably stunned and don't understand what's happening to you. Perhaps someday you'll understand why I did this to you. You now possess my powers and my curse, which I have passed on to you. Avoid sunlight, you can stay in houses or caves during the day. If you need to go out, make sure you wear a hat covering, otherwise the sun will destroy you. Find me and you'll get answers to your questions. Begin your quest by walking from Bangar's farm towards the passage. Next to look to the waterfall, you will find me by going through the cave behind the waterfall. Now the thing is, with vampires, is in any um, film or movie or game, you do know that sunlight kills vampires. That's why I'm wearing a cloth over my head already, even though you already get one. Um, you see on the top right corner, you also already have a debuff. It's called bloodlust. So basically what that means is the longer you wait, the more bloodlust you get. So if your bloodlust, I think, reaches 130%, then you just automatically die. 
And that basically means is that you need to consume human blood. So the moment you start on this venture and uh, you talk to the guy, you really do need to go see him. Otherwise, you're just lost. And as soon as you reach this waterfall, a new map will open, the Rocky Cliff. Uh, we're going to go straight for it. There's even a uh, couple of enemies here. The blood flies and scavengers mostly. I think there's even a shadow beast over there. There you go. Couple of meat bugs, but mostly scavengers. Oh, and even a goblin. All right. Let's keep going, man. And now we already see the castle. I think this castle is a um, the same model that was supposed to be in the Gothic 2 Odyssey. And they just took it from there and flipped it in here. You can go across the castle and you're going to meet a vampire called Friedrich. Or Friedrich. And he, he does have the uh, straight up Russian accent. Unfortunately, there is no dubbing for this yet. I even asked the guy if he's going to update this uh, for the English dub. We'll see. As soon as you get inside, you meet Ramus again in different clothing. And he tells you about that he has given you his uh, curse and his powers. And to effectively uh, avoid being killed... He's going to give you vessels where you can store human blood in. And he also gives you a rune how to collect that blood. Now, the only way to uh, extract blood is from either sleeping or knock down enemies. And the easiest way to do this, well, you cannot do it from dead enemies, obviously. But you, can, uh, but you can also do it from <clears throat> animals. It's not as effective, but it is effective nonetheless. You do, you can beat up some people here, if you so wish. Uh, specifically in the harbor area. Uh, I just don't know which ones, because I have not tried it. I know Mo is one of them for sure. I don't know about these citizens, because I think they just start attacking you. Mo for sure is one of them. Let me just equip one of my uh, one of the runes that I was given. It's called the blood stealing rune. I put it on. Actually, I'm gonna put it on four, so it's easier to access. Okay, I'm gonna beat him up, and we're gonna take his blood. So basically, you have to press and like you're channeling, and when it says blood received, you're done. Okay, let's see how many vessels do we have so far. I think it says four. Uh, this one is to store blood, but I'm not sure where the ones that have stored blood already are. Ah, here we go. We have 11 of them. So it reduces bloodlust by 70%. So now that we have 11 of them, we can go back to... Um... Oh, I never... Uh... Activated the teleporter stone. I'll be right back. All right, we're back here in the castle, and now we just have to find Remus wherever he is. So apparently, there's just two of them. I brought blood. So. As I said earlier, we have three different paths that we can uh, learn. And we said the path of the unarmed fighter. We had the path of warrior, a weapon in his hand, or tell me about blood magic. Now, depending on what you want here, or what kind of fighting style you want, it's up to you. All right? We're going to go with the uh, warrior with a weapon in his hands. Actually, no, let's go with blood magic. Oh. 
Ты сможешь уничтожать своих врагов. Ты будешь... So basically, the first thing is just a description of what you can do, and then you have to choose. I'm gonna go with the Blood Mage. Alright, let's see what kind of skills he can teach us then. So, study the first circle of Blood Magic and the first circle of Ordinary Magic. And we get sleep, magic unlock, and learn the blood thread rune. Let's see what else we got. Learn the general skills of the dam. We have spirit of the dam, which is five learning points, the cursed flesh, the infinite jump, and charm. Now, I haven't tried any of these so far yet. I just literally downloaded this plugin. So we'll have to test all of those, and we'll have to make another video behind that. Then you also have apparently the initiation. Which tells you you need 12 learning points, but it requires zero gold. And what about armor? And he gives you a robe for absolutely free, apparently. And it looks like a fire mage robe with uh, some different indications on it. It's not bad looking, actually. Makes you look like a vampire. Oh, and you have red eyes now. That's a nice effect. As all blood mages would, or vampires, they would have red eyes, indeed. Alright, uh, let's see. What about Friedrich? Why are you so loyal to your master? Can I buy something for you? Let's see, show me your wares. What does he have? Nothing... Too special, even has rune paper. Okay, basic stuff. What about blood vessels? You have to buy blood vessels, apparently. Where can I sleep? Hmm. Fair enough. Hey, you. What about combat skills? All oh, the combat skills are generally basically the same. And you have another errant. Not yet. Alright, so. I think this is it for this video. Nice and short, directly to the point. Um, if I get any more information on how to do quests and stuff, I will make another video. But for now, this is it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I have also opened up a Patreon account so you guys can uh, show your support if you so wish. I will leave a link down in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.